Hello everyone. Today on this lecture, we discuss about the chain of infection. It is an important topic in epidemiology. So the chain of infection, infection is not a one-day program. It is a, uh, it is a six components are there, and it is all the components are interrelated by a chain. So it is a process. All you say it is a process. So let's uh, see the definition of the chain of infection. So it describes the process of infection. So infection is a process where the six components we see the begins when the infectious agent leaves the reservoir through a portal of exit and is transmitted by a mode of transmission entering through the portal of entry into a to infect a susceptible host. So now it's a big big one definition. Now you try to understand by this picture diagram. So the definition say when the infectious agent okay leaves from the reservoir leaves from the reservoir by the leave the reservoir through the portal of exit here i give a picture of a door and the uh, and the virus uh, or the microorganisms and the microorganisms coming out that is the portal of exit and this the and the fourth one that is the mode of transmission is transmitted by a mode of transmission and entering to a susceptible by the portal of entry so where is entering to the susceptible host and then the infection is the cycle of the infection is is uh, is uh, complete. So these six components are interrelated each other. So this interlocking is called the chain. So this is called as a chain of infections. So if uh, the any break in one chain, then the infection will be not be spread, or we say the the transmission of infection will not be occur. Let's see these six components one by one in details. So first one is the infection as in that the first component. The all the infectious agents like microorganisms, fungi, parasites, so these are the bacteria, virus, they are the infective agent. They start the disease, or they, they, by this, the infection will be start. And where they leave, the place where they leave, where they grow and reproduce, that is called a reservoir. So you see the animal, some of the animal reservoirs are there, some of inanimate reservoirs are there. Okay, in the animate reservoir, we see the human, all the living things like human, animal. So these are the come under the animate reservoir. And in animate, that is the environment like soil, water, this is called the uh, inanimate reservoir. You see the smallpox that is uh, that is uh, only present in the human body. That is the uh, the host is the human body. So in the year last uh, 1980, the last case of uh, smallpox was uh, detected, and from that onwards there is no cases. So the WHO declared that it is eradicated. The smallpox is well eradicated. Similarly, from the animal anthrax, anthrax uh, is also takes place, and some of the uh, germs, uh, the microorganism that is present in the soil, where they in the soil they live there, they grow and reproduce. So this is the reservoir where the microorganisms multiplies there. After multiplication, they want to leave this place. Okay, and the way they move come out, that is called a portal of exit. So the portal of exit says that the way they move out after uh, multiplication, they come out from the the leave that leave that uh, host. Now this is called the past address. Address is the past address. So this leaves from this uh, from the reservoir, and the way it leaves that is called a portal of exit. So the portal of exit may be in the uh, respiratory secretion. So in tuberculosis, the some of the uh, by sneezing or coughing, this comes out from the body, and also uh, cholera. You see uh, the fecal matter. So the fecal matter, this uh, this this will become the vibrio cholera that will become, and the scabies in the skin lesion you see in the scabies patient uh, when the patient suffer with scabies the skin lesions are come and from the skin lesions it will be come out okay so that is the portal of exit the fourth one is the interesting that is the mode of transmission after it come out to a medium or a outside on a medium or a platform they again try to move from a another address or another body. So this may be direct way or they may be enter in the indirect way. In direct way, that is the droplet and or in the uh, in di drop droplet and also the direct skin to skin touch. In direct in droplet, you see uh, in the sorry in droplet you see that you produces 
protrusis so that is the uh, the aerosol particles are less in size of 0.5 uh, micromillimeter so there uh, they are moving in the air and uh, even if it is dry up but uh, the nuclei are in the uh, in the dormant stage so this is the droplet infection and also in direct kissing that is in the uh, mononucleosis disease so it is from the skin to skin contact it will be transmitted in indirect it needs a medium so what is that it may be the airborne it is a medium it may be some inanimate that may be vector bone it needs some uh, mosquitoes rats uh, like uh, animate animal uh, uh, origin that is called a vector so by this way it is transmission takes place and where they go so where they uh, again enter into the human body that is called the portal of entry it is just opposite to the portal of exit so the portal of entry is just opposite here is one to enter into the in, uh, another body so that is called the point of entry and this may be by the nasal secretion again the nasal secretion to the nasal secretion it will be transmitted and from the food if you are taking any contaminated food that also will enter into the human body of the healthy human body and from the conjunctival mucosal secretion like nasal secretion from the conjunctival secretion that also will be entered inside the another body now it is the new address of this germs and the sixth one that is the susceptible hole so where this uh, germs are there very much Favor um, fond towards the uh, vulnerable persons and uh, vulnerable age groups and also the elderly persons having obesity and um, diabetes cardiovascular disease so they uh, they choose this type of human body they where they can again stay there grow and multiply so that bodies are called a susceptible host now uh, susceptible host so in susceptible host, that is the final link of this chain of infections okay so this is by this six component the total cycle of uh, infection is carried out or you say by this interlocking of this uh, chain so infectious the infection cycle of the chain of infection is carried out so you take an example of the covid 19 because we all know that covid 19 is a pandemic uh, within the year within two to three years we are uh, were suffering with this disease so let put uh, covid 19 an example and uh, put this put uh, corona into this uh, into this diagram so uh, coronavirus i have given a picture like not exactly the virus but uh, try to this is the virus and this is the infected uh, co coronavirus that is the infected infectious as in as i told Second is the reservoir. So, reserve, who are the reservoir? That is the human body. So, we see when the uh, person is detected with uh, uh, what COVID-19, we put them isolation. So, that from the person, this is not spread to the healthy ones. And also, uh, lockdown will be carried out. Because uh, the when the person, sometimes what happens? Disease is there, the patients and but the person having asymptomatic. There is no sign and clinical features of a disease. So they are the carrier. They transmit a disease to another, but they are having no symptoms of the clinical features of the COVID-19. So that time government declared for the COVID uh, lockdown and also isolations. Next come to the respiratory uh, sorry uh, portal of exit so the how it's come out from the infected person through the nasal secretion that's why to break this chain government declare to wear marks it's compulsory in all uh, all the uh, places so we have to wear the marks second point is the this is the droplet how it is spread mode of transmission that is the droplet so this aerosol particles are moved and uh, in the air uh, it will be transferred from one person to the another person so government declared that time to wear compulsory masks and keep a distance of six feet because this droplet are very tiny particle or the small in size so they can travel only the five feet only so the government declares that time the uh, way to compulsory way to mask and social distancing next one is the um, uh, respiratory tract now is the um, now is the portal of entry now it's try to move to the healthy body so that is called the portal of entry and in portal entry government that time also more corona uh, the max will be compulsory to uh, avoid this entry and hand washing is compulsory because by hand washing we can we can kill the germs so that is the because uh, because when you come 
from outside if we are touching this uh, by the eyes through the conjunctival secretion it will be moved into the body or from the nasal secretion if we are touching the hands on the nasal area so that will be transmitted so this is the portal of uh, portal of uh, entry now the where the body is means those who are being uh, weak person low immunity so there will be the susceptible host so government compulsory put vaccination to all people to avoid this chain of spread of infections and this by this way the corona covid 19 will be the chain of infection will be spread so hope you understand from this discussion what is the chain of infections because a chain of infection is a component six components are there and the linking between them is called a chain so hope you understand this chain of infection thank you for watching and please keep on subscribing thank you